thought this is going to be a fairly rough and ready video, and that's because I bought one of these, a GoPro. I bought it for doing point of view photography or POV photography. I stuck some stupid little moustaches on it to get audio directly from the camera. And then I stuck it to my shoulder and I went out to Cosmiston Lakes here in South Wales. I took far too much footage and I have tried to trim this down, but I did, for the first time in a while, get some fairly nice photos. Eventually, after I took quite a lot of footage, and the stabilisation might be slightly odd because I was experimenting with a fixed shutter speed and stabilising it afterwards, and I'm not sure this works quite as well as using the GoPro's built-in stabilisation, so I'm sorry in advance if it makes you feel seasick. Right. It's rolled. I was like to start off by uh, just checking if there's much on the lakes, or on this lake at least, because the other one's a bit of a walk away. A few birds up in the trees, it's a little bit dark here at the moment, and in fact, that is the issue. Oh, there's one lonely mallard. Hello, buddy. Water level's high. Oh, nice. really out there at the moment are a bunch of seagulls. Yeah, I rather suspect all the birds on the lakes have um, gone off to the coast, although that's a cormorant coming in. And going away. do what I normally do instead, which is um, go and look in the reed beds. Let's see what's out there. Something's jangling in my bag, I don't know what it is. It's quite irritating. One nice thing to note about Cosmiston is that if you get here early, you do not have to pay until 10am. So, if you're just here to photograph sunrise, don't have to pay, but you should, you know, after 10 a.m. Because it's a nice place and they look after it well now. So, yeah, there's effectively two real lakes and uh, I particularly like this wetlands area. I don't really walk around the paddocks in the north very much. But I might do at some point. Problem is that this area is such a nice place to be that um, you don't really want to leave it and go off somewhere else. This is a death trap in the winter, though. Oh, it's a shame. Most of the reeds have um, either fallen or been cut down. So this section won't actually be as good as normal. grow back up again soon, but um, I imagine that they have been uh, cut back somewhat to make way for new growth. But it does make hanging out here a little bit pointless because the reeds are where all the birds are. Not much point in hanging out here. There's the reed beds are gone. <laughs> Let's check the other lake. What's that? Sparrow. Yeah. A bit 
too dark still. Anyway. I'm continuing to be annoyed by the um, exposure compensation on this camera, but uh, it is slightly less annoying now that I'm shooting in shutter priority mode. Which is something I haven't done in a while, but um, because the exposure compensation settings are a little bit weird, this is working out a bit better for me. Which lake is the sun going to be hitting the best? Oh, let's do a bit of a wando around the next bit. <coughs> it's the medieval village. suspicion that the GoPro is now going to be blowing out the sky so I might have to um, make some adjustments. So yeah the sun seems to hit this lake slightly later so I'm going to go back round to the other one I think even though there is more on this one there's not really much by way of light. Um, briefly to the best bench at Cosmiston, as it is quite literally on the lake front. Uh, yes, the sun has completely given up for the moment, so I think it's time to take a break, eat my breakfast, and uh, hope that it comes back at some point, vaguely soon, because this is a bit pants. And unfortunately, it's often like this when I come here. The weather reports are just inaccurate. Currently, it's supposed to be sunny. Oh, I see. Well, that's actually kind of interesting. It just looked like they're expecting you to stick your ears in the hole and they'll get enlarged <coughs> just by getting stuck and stretched. That is a Chetty's Warbler. I know where he lives, <coughs> roughly. He lives in those bushes at the back of this reed bed. But um, they're extremely hard to see small brown birds that are quite flighty and live at the backs of reed beds. They never come very close. So I've never gotten a good photo of one. But I know they're around. Mostly because they're biblically loud for a small bird. No, oh, I don't know what these are, but there are a few of them, and they're in the light. What's not to like? See if I can get a slightly better angle, maybe shooting into the sun. Oh, 
In light conditions like this, photographing seagulls can be quite um, quite pleasant, but um, I want them flying towards me and uh, they're a bit flighty at the moment. Might have some photos of that young one. It's a bit bright really. The sun's up too high now. It's just the problem down here, unfortunately, is that um, very frequently completely miss the nice light of sunrise. Oh, what a lovely photo. The reed bunting, I believe. <coughs> and he landed right in front of me. Beautiful. He yeah, went really far away when he flew off. Well, oh. wasn't expecting that. They're quite, um, quite nervy birds usually. Um, oh, that's sweet. Well, please with that. Looks in focus too, which is always nice. And with that, getting up at 5am to come here kind of seems worthwhile. And that's what I like about Cosmiston Lakes. Occasionally you get surprised. It's just a shame that it's a bit of a trek for me. Um, it's not super local, so like you wake up, you see a nice sunrise, you go out. You have to come here hoping that... Um, it's going to be a nice sunrise because it's about uh, 20 minutes, half an hour away. And um, it does mean that it's a bit of a luck-based thing, but occasionally you get mornings like this where you get lucky. And that's all it really is. I mean, <clears throat> I'm not going to claim that... Uh, that photo is down to my uh, wonderful fieldcraft abilities. He landed two metres behind me <laughs> and then proceeded to pig out on a very perfect reed head. So, oh well, it's nice when it happens to you. Unfortunately, that's my first good photo here in about um, nine months, so. I feel like I was due, but also like uh, I'm going to go through an even longer drought until the next one now. Well, thank you.
thank you very much for watching. I hope that was vaguely interesting. I'm quite hopeful for the format of using a GoPro to do my wildlife photography at least. My other videos won't be filmed with this, I imagine. I still need to experiment with the settings a little bit. And uh, I think we can all agree that the image stabilization in that video was a bit wibbly wobbly. So I'm going to try and improve on that next time and play around with the settings. These are very weird in how they do image stabilization in camera. But I might go through that on another video at some point in case it's of interest to some people. But yeah, thanks again. Until next time.